Hello students, welcome back to St. Thomas School Surat, Standard 8, English, Chapter 4, Bipin Chaudhary's Lapse of Memory. Chapter 4, Lapse of Memory, Part 2. In the last class, we learned about a man named Bipin Chaudhary. Or Bipin Babu is otherwise called as Bipin Babu by his friends. Okay. Uh, he works in a firm and he's a very uh, ardent worker. Uh, he works very hard for his company and is very prompt in his work. But he meets a uh, stranger at a bookshop where he comes once in a week to buy books and this stranger named Parimal Ghosh tries to convince him to, by saying that he had been to Ranchi or Bipin Babu had been to Ranchi and is and Bipin Babu is confused because he has not been to Ranchi at all. Now let us go to part two of this lesson. Okay. Now coming to the last part of this lesson, uh, this, uh, this page, after lunch time, Bipin Babu realized that he couldn't possibly carry on sitting at his desk and working. This had never happened in the 25 years he had been with the firm. So if you remember, uh, the, the last uh, video, I said uh, he was like, you know, working in the office, but he could not just let off that man, what, what that man was saying. And he could not even uh, eat his stiffen. And he had lost his appetite. He just kept his head uh, on his hands and he was completely, uh, you know, taken away by the way the man said that you had been to Ranchi and uh, you were there going everywhere and if you had an accident but that has not been registered in his mind at all so Bipin Babu is calling one of his friends to inquire about it and that friend also uh, says that so you had been to Ranchi why don't you remember that and uh, his friend Dinesh is a person who is to make fun of others so he just inquired and he kept the phone down and this made him more and more, uh, uh, you know, troubled. What is, what is happening to him? What is happening to Bipin Babu? Is he losing his mind? Is he having any memory loss? So then uh, after lunch, he's sitting down to work, but he cannot work at all. And this has not happened to him in the last 25 years uh, working in that firm. He had a reputation for being a tireless, conscious worker. But today, his head was in a whirl. Conscious worker, a careful and correct worker. Means he, is, he does not make mistakes. And everybody in that firm liked him. Okay. and But today, what happened to him? His head was in a whirl. Whirl means confused. Unable to think clearly. So, that had been the situation to Bipin Babu. Back home. At 2.30, Bipin lay down in a bed and tried to gather his wits together. Okay, He thought that it was possible to lose one's memory through an injury in the head. But he did not know of a single instance of somebody rem someone remember, remembering everything except one particular incident and a fairly recent and significant one at that. He had always wanted to go to Ranji to have... To have gone there, done things, and not to remember was something utterly impossible. So, he came home from the office at 2.30. He lay down on his bed and he's trying to gather his, uh, you know, he's trying to bring himself down, uh, calm. And he's trying to think clearly what happened to him. So, he's like thinking, it, it is possible. No, it is possible to lose one's memory. You can lose your memory at any time. 
it can be through an accident or an injury but that has not happened in bipin babu's life at all uh, except uh, and he he has a habit of remembering everything but except this one and that was a fairly recent one also just 5 or 6 years before according to the date given because he always wanted to go to ranchi uh, to do things to visit the place but he has not done it at all at 7:30 bipin babu's servant came and announced chunni babu sir says it is very important so another character is coming two characters are coming the bipin babu servant comes and then another person says uh, named chunni babu is also coming inside bipin babu knew what chunni had come for chunni lal had been at school with him so bipin babu's friend's name is chunni lal and he had been at school with him he had been having a rough time lately and had been coming to see him about a job so uh, chunni lal and uh, bipin babu were classmates and uh, this bipin babu has got a good job but chunni lal has been troubling uh, troubling him quite often because he is not able to get a job and uh, that was a rough time uh, chunni lal was going through bipin babu knew it was not possible to do anything for him and in fact told him so so bipin babu had often told him no i cannot do anything now for you uh because i am not in a position to help you but chunni kept turning up like a bad penny so uh, like uh, like a bad penny means appearing at a place where one is not welcome so he used to come every now and then even if you don't want him to come he will come there and you know uh, ask you for an help Bipin Babu sent word that not only was it not possible for him to see Chunni now, but not in several weeks. So uh, Bipin Babu sends a message through Chunni ba through the servant to Chunni Chunni Lal saying that I cannot see you now, and not possibly for another few weeks. But as soon as the servant stepped out of the room, it struck struck Bipin Babu that Chunni might remember something about the 58 trip. So, as the servant was going out of the room to say uh, to Chunni Lal that please don't come again and disturb my master, uh, immediately Bipin Babu uh, remembered that Chunni Lal might remind, may be able to recollect about the 50, 1958 trip. There was no harm in asking him. So the, uh, he thought, okay, uh, anyway, I can ask him about the uh, trip. Bipin Babu hurried down the stairs and into the living room. Chunni was about to leave, but seeing Bipin Babu appear, he turned around hopefully. So Bipin Babu rushed downstairs and uh, into the living room. Chunni Lal was about to leave, but seeing Bipin Babu come, he he hoped and turned around. That means he hoped that uh, Bipin Babu would you know offer him a job. Bipin Babu did not beat around the bush. Beat about the bush means. Uh, If you want to say something straightforward, you just say it, say it, say it correctly. Uh, some people are there. If you want to present a thing, you no, know, they'll go around. For example, go around saying so many things. Uh, for example, if I ask you, why didn't you do your homework? You will start. Teacher, we had gone there. We had such work. If I, my, you know, if you're not put your attendance, teacher, my phone was not working. My net was not. There. This is all the excuses that come. you can just say teacher sorry i couldn't do my work so just come to the point straight that's mean didn't beat around the bush okay listen chunni i want to ask you something so bipin babu he didn't not even uh, you know ask how are you where uh, where were you all these days nothing he asked he just went straight and asked him i want to ask you something you have a good memory and you have been seeing me off and on for a long time just throw your mind back and tell me did i go to ranchi in 58 so he merely asked so you have got a good memory and you have been you have been seeing me for a quite a long time you come very often here and uh, i just want to know something uh, where did i go to ranchi in 1958 chunni said 58 it must have been 58 or was it 59 so chunni lal is like okay 58 it must have been 58 or it might have been in 
So again, it's a confusion. Okay. To the next slide. You are sure that I did go to Ranchi? Chunli's look of amazement was not unmixed with worry. So Chunilal is looking at Bipin Babu with an amazement. And he was not worried because uh, Chunilal was very confident saying, yes, you had gone to uh, Ranchi. Do you mean you have doubts about having gone to gone at all? So Chunilal is like, you know, little uh, confused. And he's asking, do you, Bipin, do you have doubts that you had been there? Did I go? Do you remember clearly? So Bipin is asking, did I go? And do you remember it clearly? Chunni sat down on the sofa, fixed Bipin Babu with a long, hard stare and said, Bipin, have you taken to drugs or something? As far as I know, you had a clean record where such things were concerned. I know that old friendship doesn't mean, don't mean much to you, but at least you have a good memory. You can't really mean that you've forgotten about the Ranchi trip. So Chunla now got a uh, chance to sit down and is sitting down on the sofa and is looking at Bipin Babu with a, you know, a ha long, hard stare, just uh, staring at Bip uh, Bipin Babu's face. And he's saying, did you take any drugs or some medicine? As far as I know, you had a clean record of things like this. Uh, you remember all these things. Even you don't like friendship, your old friends, uh, but you have got a good memory. How can you forget that Ranjit trip? Babin Babu had turned away from Juni's incredulous stare. So, he, uh, Babin Babu just turned away. Do you remember what my last job was, asked Junilal? Of course, you worked in a travel agency. You remember that and you don't remember that it was I who fixed up your railway booking for Ranchi? I went to the station to see you off. One of the fans in your compartment was not working. I got an electrician to fix it. Have you forgotten everything? Whatever is the matter with you, you don't look too well, you know. Bipin Babu sighed and shook his head. So, Chunnilal is, you know, trying to play a game. He's saying, Bipin Babu, don't you remember what my last job was? So then immediately Bipin, say, Bipin Babu says, yeah, you were working in a travel agency. And do you remember that and you don't remember that I was the one who fixed your railway booking. So now he's bringing up things. He's saying, so I booked for your ticket. I booked your tickets to Ranchi. I, to, I went to the station to see you off. I, I came to the station to see you off. And in the compartment in one you were sitting, there was a fan which was not working. I got an electrician to fix it and have you forgotten everything? What is the matter with you? You don't look too well. So Bipin Babu is totally upset. I've been working too hard, he said at last. That must be the reason. Must see about consulting a specialist. Now Bipin Babu said, yeah, yeah, maybe because I was working too hard or, you know, more, too, much, too, too much of pressure or tension or stress. That might be the reason I'm forgetting this 58 ranchi trip. I must consult a doctor. Doubtless, it was Bipin's condition which made Chunila leave without mentioning anything about a job. So, looking at Chun Bipin Babu's condition, Chunila did not say anything about the job. He just left. Parish Chanda was a young physician with a pair of bright eyes and a sharp nose. Now, the next character is coming. That's a doctor. He's a young physician. What is his name? Parish Chanda. He became thoughtful when he heard about Bipin Babu's symptoms. Look, Dr. Chan said Bipin Babu desperately, you must cure me of this horrible illness. I can't tell you how it's affecting my work. So uh, this doctor comes to meet Bipin Babu and is explaining what all is happening in his life for the past two, three days. And he's saying, you have to cure me. You have to heal me anyway. I cannot go with this. I cannot concentrate on my work. I can't think at all. Dr. Chand shook his head. So, doctor said, okay, fine. Let me look at your uh, condition. You know what, Mr. Chaudhary? He said, I've never had to deal with a case such as yours. Frankly, this is quite outside my field of experience. So, this is not actually, you know, uh, somebody, uh, not a doctor can treat. It's supposed to be treated by somebody who is, uh, you know, 
who can treat the mind, a psychologist or a psychiatrist. But I have one suggestion. I don't know if it will work, but it's worth a try. It can do no harm. So is uh, the doctor saying, frankly speaking, this is not uh, my field of case, but I can give you a, a suggestion. I don't know if it is going to work out for you, but worth a try. You can, it will not do any harm to you. Bipin Babu leaned forward anxiously. So he's uh, eagerly waiting to listen to uh, the doctor. As far as I can make out, doc, said Dr. Chan, and I think you are of the same opinion. You must have been to Ranchi, but due to some unknown reason, the entire episode has slipped out of your mind. What I suggest is that you go to Ranchi once again. The sight of the place may remind you of your trip. This is not possible. More than that, I can do at that moment. I am prescribing a nerve tonic and a tranquilizer. Sleep is essential or the symptoms will get more pronounced. Bibin Babu felt somewhat better the next morning. After breakfast, he rang up his office, gave some instructions and then procured a first class ticket for Ranchi for the same evening. So now doctor is coming up with an opinion saying, since uh, that episode in your life, that Ranchi trip has been totally deleted from your mind, let me give you a suggestion. Why don't you go to Ranchi once again? And once you re reach that place, maybe you can recollect something. Uh, but for now, I'm going to give you a tonic uh, syrup and a tranquilizer. Tranquilizer is a medicine to reduce your uh, stress or an anxiety. It's a, like, you know, you will get sleep. Uh, and once you sleep, you'll be able to uh, get relaxed. Otherwise, what happened? Again, this... Uh, symptoms will be more and more aggressive. So after taking the medicine, he goes to sleep and when he gets up in the morning, he's much better. And after having breakfast, he rings up the office, uh, to the office and says, see, I'm, uh, I'm, I will be going out uh, this evening. So please do this, this work in the office. Now next is a comprehension check. Who was Chunilal? What did he want from Bipin Babu? Who was Chunilal? Chunilal was his friend. And what did he want from Bipin Babu? He actually wanted to get a job. So he's come to ask for help. Why was Dr. Chanda puzzled? What was unusual about Bipin Babu's loss of memory? So why was Dr. Chanda puzzled? Because that was not his field of uh, work or experience. And uh, losing a, just a, a, a simple or a single episode in one's life or losing the memory of that was quite unusual for him. Only that was lost in his mind, from his mind. That is the answer for this too. You'll have, I'll be giving, don't worry, I'll be giving you the answers for everything. Uh, since your exams are coming up uh, next week, I'll be giving you answers from the, uh, all the answers from the workbook and also questions from the you know, back of the you know, textbook also. Getting off the train, at Ranchi, next morning, he realized at once that he had never been there. Now, as the doctor said, if you go to that place where you have been, you might recollect some uh, before, you know, previous experiences. See, when you travel, if we have been to, uh, you know, uh, Bombay or uh, some other places for tour, and once again, for example, if you have been to Goa or Goa, once again, when uh, you go, you can recollect the previous uh, travel, right? So, so that is why the doctor said you once visit that place maybe you will be able to recollect but uh, Bipin Babu is not able to recollect anything he came out of the station took a taxi and drove around the town for a while he realized that the streets the buildings the hotels the buses the Murabhadi hills uh, with none of these had he had the slightest acquaintance acquaintance means a relation of friendship so would a trip to the Hudro Falls help? He didn't believe so, but at the same time, he didn't wish to leave with the feeling that he had been tried enough. So he arranged for a car and left for Hudro in the afternoon. So Bipin uh, Babu somehow wants to recollect if he had gone there. So he's driving through the streets, building, you know, looking at the buildings, the hotels, the bazaars, the Moravadi hills, but he's not able to recollect anything. Now he thinks of the Hudro Falls. Maybe I'll be able, if I go there, I'll be able to recollect that. So he's arranging for a 
car and is planning to leave in the afternoon. At five o'clock the same afternoon in Nudro, two Gujarati gentlemen from a group of picnickers discovered Bipin Babu lying unconscious beside a boulder. Boulder means a big rock. Okay. So uh, what happened? So at five o'clock in the same afternoon, he reaches Hudro. And two Gujarati men from a group of picnickers, you know, people for, you know, we, we Gujaratis have the habit of going for picnic everywhere. So he, these people have been to Ranchi. So what happened? They, they see a man lying unconscious, okay, uh, beside a boulder. A, a boulder means a stone, quite a big stone. Unconscious, he's not, uh, he's totally out of his mind, he's lying there. Uh, not able to uh, look at anyone or uh, he's unconscious totally when he ca came around when he came around when he got back to his senses the first thing Bipin Babu said was I'm finished there is no hope left now when he when he got back his senses when he regained his consciousness and the first thing what Bipin Babu said was oh I'm finished I cannot I don't have any hope on me everything is over next morning Bipin Babu is back in Calcutta now he's coming back to Calcutta. He realized that there's truly no hope for him. Soon he would lose everything, his will, his will to work, his confidence, his ability, his balance of mind. Was he going to end up in the asylum at? Bipin Babu couldn't think anymore. So just remember, if you recollect, Bipin Babu's one brother was also a mental uh, patient. So now he's, you know, collecting all that. So if something happens to me, even I will be like my brother. And I will end up in the asylum. Asylum is a uh, place where mentally pe mental ill people are looked after. So he said, yeah, I will lose my confidence. I will not be able to work. My, I, my ability will be lost. My balance of mind will be lost. What is going to happen to me? Back home, he rang up to Dr. Chant and asked him to come over. Then after a shower, he got into bed with a nice bag clamped on his head. Now, uh, at home, he calls the doctor back again and after the shower, after having his bath, he goes into the bed and with the ice bag clamped on his head. So, he's having ice bag and he's putting on it to his head. Just then, the servant bought him a letter which someone had left in the letter box. So, the servant is bringing a letter to him. A greenish envelope with his name in red ink on it. So, that's a green color envelope and the, on the name, on the top of it, it is written Mr. Bipin Babu in reading above the name it said urgent and confidential in spite of his condition Bipin Babu had a feeling that he had ought to go through the letter he tore open the envelope and took out the letter this is what he read so he took it on the top of it there was a name there the name of the person Bipin Babu was written and above that was a written urgent and confidential urgent means it's very uh, supposed to be given immediately and very secretive, confidential. Uh, in spite of this condition, Bipin Babu thought, okay, I have to open this and find out what it is. And this is what he read. Now, let us see what the letter says. Dear Bipin, I had no idea that affluence would bring about the kind of change in you that it has done. Was it so difficult for you to help out an old friend down on his luck? I have no money, so my resources are limited. What I have is imagination, a part of which I used in retribution of your unfeeling behavior. Well, you will be all right again now. Novel I have written is being considered by a publisher. If he likes it enough, I, I'll, it will see me through the next few months. So, and it's been signed by Chunilal. So, who who had played the trick on Bipin Babu? So, he said, because Bipin Babu was not a person who used to help others, he had limited friends. And Chunilal was often turned out by Bipin Babu and not given a job. He tried to play a trick on whom? Bipin isn't it uh, and what it was no he, he, he did not even help him that is why he said I have no money so my resources are limited but I had imagination 
And what did he do with the imagination? He gave a punishment to his friend Bipin Babu. As a punishment, a retribution means as a punishment. As a punishment, what did uh, Chinula do? He framed up a story uh, that in 1958, you were, Bipin Babu went to Ranchi and he had all the supporting characters coming with him to help him out. So Chunilal at the last said, see, I've written a novel which will be put into publishing. And if it goes well, I will become rich. When Dr. Chand ke Chanda came, Bipin Babu said, I'm fine. It all came back as soon as I got off the train at Ranchi. A unique case, said Dr. Chanda. I shall certainly write about it in medical journal. The reason why I sent for you, said Bipin Babu, is that I have pain in the hip from a fall I had in Ranji. If you could prescribe a painkiller. So, doctor is coming back and meeting him. And he said, I'm fine, doctor. There is no issue. I remember everything now. Uh, so, Bipin, uh, the doctor said, oh, that's a unique case. Um, you remember, because I sent you, you remembered everything. So, I shall be writing down this in the medical journal. But now why I called you, doc, now to Bipin Babu said, now why I called you is I had a fall in Ranchi. Where did he fall? He became unconscious, right? He fell down and he was under a, uh, nearby a uh, big stone. So he had a hip pain, back pain. So he wanted a painkiller. So actually what uh, Satyajit Ray wants to convey is that try to be more helpful to others, you know, with your friends. As you know, years go by when you all grow big, there may be some friends or some of your classmates who are not very well off. Try to help them in one way or the other. Otherwise, somewhere, sometimes you might also be fooled by the type of general type of people. Okay. Now, comprehension check. Please write, write down, write it down. Then, uh, working with the text. We have uh, four or five questions, four questions. Okay, I'll, I will give you the answers. Try to uh, try to answer them, but I'll try, I'll give it to you uh, by Friday or Saturday. Okay. Thank you.